Good morning everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. I'm here with the Peugeot E2008 and today I'm going to do the full range test and later the full charging test which will take a long time because this car charges at 10 kilowatt above 90 percent. I'm at 94 percent now charged to 100 percent so it will take 20 minutes or so a long time. Um, I will drive at 90 kilometers an hour GPS speed Go, I'm right here on the highway, drive on the highway, always constant speed, without heat, maybe seat heater, maybe lights, I don't know yet, but as, as less consumption as possible, drive in one way to 55% and then come back on the other side to Ionity, so the elevation change is eliminated and then it will be uh, just a good uh, number at the end. And then we can see if we get the 330 kilometers of WLTP range that the car is saying it can do. And for the people who ask why I do it at 90 kilometers an hour, it's just a weird speed. 90 kilometers an hour is the is a good uh, uh, average of what a normal person drives with a car. So city, a bit of country and a bit of highway. And it also should get close to the WLTP range and that's always interesting. Yeah, look at that. 10 kilowatt at 95% power, 24 amps. Oh my God. This will take a while. Oh my, overall the car is pretty nice. It's not the best looking car in my opinion, especially the front. I don't know. The front, it's a bit, you know, a bit much. And since this is so high, what I noticed if you go over a hill, so if you go over a hill and then, and then it goes down again, you can't see anything. Oh, the tires are, 215, 60 or 70, and I think on all, where am I? Yes, 215, 60 or 17. And that is why you don't charge this car above 90%. Because <laughs> the battery is really being charged full. That's why I also don't get regen. Six amp. The voltage is great though. Yeah, charge to 99% and then I leave. I'm not doing that. I'm on my way. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it already beeps at me. I'm driving 92, that's GPS speed 90. I'm in eco mode. Heat is off. I started at 98% because it charged with two kilowatt. I'm not doing that. Heat is off. You can see it on this button on the light here. And even seat heater is off. And it's 11 degrees out there. We'll see. Let's go to 55%. Yeah, I'm down to 73% That what the app says. That. See, 70% and I'm at 202 kilometers of range, but again, I don't judge, uh, trust the, 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 this GOM too much. Consumption is pretty high, 152. I have to go to the left because there are people driving. I'm at 48%. That means we have used 50% of the battery, drove 152 kilometers. So the whole range should be 304. Consumption is going down a bit, 149 watt hours per kilometer. My range is 122 and I have 101 kilometer to go. So of 21 kilometers of margin, it went up and down a bit. It reacts very fast to little hills. 
so it's okay and let's just go on it turned around at 58 percent or something i don't want to risk it too much Okay, I think I'm a 23%. App is not refreshing right now. It was a 24 just a few moments ago. Um, I have 52 kilometers of range. We drove 220 kilometers at a consumption of 150 watt hours per kilometer. 88 is my average speed. Still 32 kilometers to go. So I have 20 kilometers of margin. No problem. <laughs> Good range test consumption is a bit higher than I would think it would have but when we're there we should get 280 kilometers of range and this is what I was expecting around that number We arrived with 12%, 24 kilometers. We drove 253, average consumption was still 150. Average speed was okay. Um, let's calculate how much range we have. Yeah, so it's, uh, Google Maps says it's 254 kilometers and driving it down to 12%, starting with 98, that means 295 kilometers of range at 90 kilometers an hour. That was good. I will now drive it down a bit. I want to get, get it down to a bit more, less, so to 5% or so, and then I will charge it here in a few minutes. But I will go a bit faster and try to drive it down. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.